so happy feast day of the Pentecost or the coming of the Holy Spirit is a great great feast feast of Pentecost in the church so the prayer that we need to ask every time is simple come Holy Spirit I don't know if you utter this word here and there if you ask the Spirit and you want to be enlightened to be free to fill you to fill each one with the same kind of the Holy Spirit not the Spirit but by the Holy Spirit so that is what our prayers come Holy Spirit then fill our hearts and condemn our hearts and so many things there was a lady she had a small child of five years old and she found out that he is he was very smart he could play the piano very well so she said okay I will would buy for you a piano and you play. So one day she took this child to the theater orchestra by Ignacy Jan Peredewski. This person was a very, very great pianist. So she took this child, she got the seat, the, the two seats for her and her child or her boy. But she met her friend. During the interaction with her friend, she forgot the boy. Completely she forgot about this boy. So there was light so bright, and this child escaped and he went up to the stage. She did not realize that. At that moment, they put off the light to start the orchestra. This child went very fast to the piano. He sat there. When this Paradeski wanted to play, he found this child. So he said, okay, since you are here, let us play. But this child is very smart. He learned already how to play the, that song, Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. I'm very expert, this child. Five years old. Then he on the piano. Then he started playing with the small hands. And as he played this person, a great pianist, he put his left hand with his bass from behind. Then after that, this child is very good to play. So he put another hand, the child in front, he is behind the child playing. And so beautiful one of the best performance by this Ignacy, the best in the world. People, they were in tears to see that. They could not imagine how come a small child and the greatest pianist in the world I don't know if you can think like that about you and the Spirit, me and the Spirit. Can we think like that? That all the time we have the Spirit, all the time we remember. But when the Spirit is out there by my side, I am no longer just a human being. I am filled with His Spirit, with His love, with His joy. I am simply the greatest performer in this world so dear brothers and sisters this is when we have the spirit we can be christians but we may be dry christians empty christians we must be real christians christian with the holy spirit to fill us with his love with his joy with the greatest thing in this world today we heard in the first reading they were all frightened like small rats Insight, frightened of the Jews because he would kill them. 
frightened of everyone can imagine their life what type of life to get frightened of people and in fact if I am out I would be finished in no time inside but Jesus said since you are since you you got so frightened remain inside I will send the Holy Spirit the moment Jesus today so he breathes his spirit more than that Jesus actually went up already to heaven he sent the Holy Spirit in the form of the fire and the moment the Holy Spirit could see each other oh my god the fire falling on their heads they could see each other not only that then they were filled with the spirit of Jesus then they broke open the door and they went out no more fears they they became great the greatest theologian all of them greatest theologians they from the time they knew Jesus they experienced all that they experienced in that life now it's it's more real so dear brothers and sisters you and me can be can be like that when we are filled with the spirit I don't know can we keep inside contained only for ourselves I don't think people with the spirit they are different people much more than being just human beings or Christians they are much more so we need to pray dear brothers and sisters pray for the spirit to dwell in us to come into us why we want to have the spirit because we become double you and me we are always single including me even you have your wife your children you are all individuals you are alone you are single the moment you have the spirit you are always double that's why double love double joy double strength you are human beings but you are you are not you are much more than just human beings you are double that means your love is double we need to pray for this grace because the spirit can give us anytime but i need to open my heart open my mind and call upon the spirit and the spirit will come and today we heard in the second reading about the oneness the oneness of people because of the baptism because of the spirit they became one they could talk one language in the first reading now they are one two different bodies is like a football when you play football there are 12 players all must play well if they have the spirit one spirit they pass well they dodge they play they kick from back to front and they shoot the goal to the goal all like that so all must be one if two foolish people are there no spirit we cannot shoot any goal so Christian life is like that even me I have my body my hands my legs my mind my ears my hands I don't know what you can see inside outside so even then we have the spirit with us we we ask the spirit to bring us life that life of integrity life of happiness life of joy then we can we can have that real real destination real goal to follow because when the spirit is within us we know where to go and the spirit will lead us will guide us till the end so we pray for these great dear brothers and sisters to be strong to be happy to be cheerful and Jesus said today he sent the Holy Spirit and he sent with a beautiful thing for them he sent out on this Pentecost 50th day of the church he sent them he said peace be with you only after the resurrection Jesus offers peace the real peace after the res resurrection and on the mall when the Holy Spirit is with, with among us so we need to pray for this grace and he said peace be with you as the Father sends me so I sent you 
receive the Holy Spirit. And he's talking about sins. That's why Holy Spirit, when there are so many spirits uh, in the world, I don't know, you and me, you can experience or not. I can experience. I have been talking with many boys and girls. If they have evil spirits, I also will fall down. One day I, I talked to one girl and she looked at me so strangely and I fell from my chair and I asked her what happened and she said, Father, I have bad thoughts about you. That much the power. Do you understand that? She looked at me with different eyes maybe but I fell from the chair because she, even though I may have the Holy Spirit, maybe small, but she has, she, she has got that evil spirit in her. And I know many evil spirits, I bless many, many houses here, not Catholics, mighty ones here in Nantamai. Father, I cannot, uh, we cannot climb the stairs because the moment we climb, we put the stairs, somebody will hold. I cannot move anymore. Father, I, I lean near the door, but somebody caught me. I cannot come out. I cannot move. So they asked me. I said, how many Catholics there in that house? How many people? How many rooms? Oh, Father, there are more than 30 rooms. More than 30 type of people there. All type. How many uh, Catholics? Only one, Father. Only one family out of 30. So I went, I said, okay, I will, I said, let me prepare myself well. I took Jesus with me, then I took holy water. And I blessed that house. On many, not only one, many houses. And after that, no more. No more evil spirit there. Now they are free. I asked them, any fear, anything? No. I remember one girl also was flying her sailing. I don't know, the real, not real, it's like a joke for me. But she was up there. I don't know the spirit, evil. But she knew when I started from Rilang that Father is coming. Father is coming. Why did you bring that fellow? Why did you call him? But I knew when I went there, she covered herself nicely with, her, with a blanket. Evil spirits. I don't think only sickness. I, I look when we pray, okay, say Jesus. No. That's why Jesus said, no, the second reading. No one can say Jesus is the Lord except by the Spirit. I said, say Jesus. She said, no. After many times, after repeating a number of times for one hour, I said, say Jesus. At the end, she said, Jesus. With the one, she was free. And after that, no, she, she is okay. She looks normal. But I have to ask her to call upon the Lord many, many times. Dear brothers, we need to pray. The actually, Holy Spirit was there from the beginning, from in heaven. The Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And when he created this world that is round like this, with the Holy Spirit, actually, God moved the waters. He moved the waters, created everything with the Holy Spirit. But why we have so much of darkness? Why is so much of evil around? Why is so much of people, so much of frustration? It's because too many evil spirits around. And I know in my life, in your life, in our families, we have so many evil spirits. We need to pray, dear brothers and sisters, we need to pray. The Holy Spirit will make us new, refresh again, new creation, new life. That's why we want to ask. We have life, but I need to ask for a new life, new energy. Spirit is nothing but ruah in the Greek word, ruah. That means uh, breath, the wind, the power, the energy. That's why we want to ask for this grace so that I will have this energy, not my energy, not the evil energy, but I have the energy of Jesus, the breath of, this, of God 
in me so that I will have life. I have life but not real life. I need to have the real life. That's different when we, we need to pray. I will end with the fruits of the Holy Spirit. All of us, dear brothers and sisters, we need to pray for the fruit of the Spirit. There are gifts of the Holy Spirit, number of them. There are charisms of the Holy Spirit. But today I will talk a few from the Bible about the fruits of the Spirit. When we have the Holy Spirit, we will know anybody, any person around. That person has got love. The first one is love. A person with the Holy Spirit is full of love. Not selfish love, but real love, real touch. If you stay with anybody who is full of love, who has got the Spirit, he, he, lives, or he or she lives a life of holiness, the person is a person of love. So we need for this, to pray for this grace to have this love. The second one is joy. A person with the Holy Spirit is full of joy, not plastic smile. No plastic smiles. Only real joy, real smiles. From the heart. Not only like this, no? Not putting up. But from the heart. So we need to pray for this love and joy. And the third one is peace. You want peace? We have to ask the Holy Spirit. Not to get angry, not to be upset, not to be abnormal, but to be a man or woman of peace. Peace everywhere. So I need to ask for this grace. The fourth one is forbearance. That means patience. I need to have patience all the time. Whether I am there with the kids, whether I am with the elders, whether I'm there with the, I don't know what type of people in the family, but I still exercise this patience in me. Because I have learned the Spirit has got power, this energy, so I learn how to be pay, patient all the time. We need to pray for this grace. The fifth one is kindness. A person with the Holy Spirit is full of kindness from head to foot, from right hand to left hand, full of kindness, words in words, in deeds, the whole life is full of kindness. Do we have that? If we don't have the men, we, we don't have the Holy Spirit. And the sixth one is goodness. People with the Holy Spirit, they are always good because the Holy, Holy Spirit is good, God is good. They are good always. This good is being created in the heart. It's only uh, generates outside for others to see the goodness. And the seventh one is faithfulness. A person with the Holy Spirit cannot simply go around, live his life or her life shabbily, not being happy, or live or spoiling oneself, spoiling others talking ill. They are not like that. They are faithful, faithful in their words, in their, in their whole life. They are full of faithfulness. They are faithful to the family, faithful in everything. So for this grace, we ask the Holy Spirit to keep us. And this eighth one is gentleness. A person who is with the Holy Spirit is gentle. As St. Francis de Sales says, it's better to uh, have this whole gentleness like one spoon of honey than one barrel of vinegar. The person with the Holy Spirit is only one spoon, but very sweet, gentle. And the last one is self-control. I can control myself. I can do well. In any situation, any type of life, I learn, I, I manage how to deal with, with my life because I have self-control, how to talk, how to look at people, how to, to balance myself. I like this one. I like very much the fruit of the Spirit because it, start, it starts with love and ends with self-control. When we have love, we learn how to have self-control. So many in between. But 
it starts with love and ends with self-control. May uh, the, all of us, dear brothers and sisters, we learn how to grow to be fully alive, fully human beings, fully Christians, fully children of God, because we have the Spirit with us. And the Spirit is so powerful. As the wind is so powerful, so we. So do we. All of us, we are powerful because we have the Holy Spirit with us. Always must believe. Believe that we are powerful. We have the Spirit with us. No one can take us away uh, the peace and joy in our hearts. And we must, when we find things that are not okay, we must go for the sacrament of reconciliation, purify ourselves, then we can renew again and the Spirit will come in our hearts, in our bodies, and we can remain always faithful to God, to this, His Spirit.